Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Today it's me and Eagle Eyes out. Yep. <laughs> we are going to take you back in time to this magnificent German World War II location. There could be some really cool surprises coming up here, so stay tuned. Please watch our videos in full to support our work. If you want to check out the possibility to support us by Patreon and PayPal, there are links in the description. I do beautiful World War II diorama giveaways every month, so you can win and have a really nice piece of the actual things going on here. But now, let's go out there and see if we can find this pass together. Right here, on the way up, there's a very special position. It's a round pedestal here, and you have a pocket here. Yeah, I'm going to show them that. You got a little pocket here and you can see the round base. See if I can make a drawing of how that looks, but uh, that's one of the positions that are still here to see, but it's totally overgrown, but it had a fantastic view over the valley down here. Here you can see what it looks like from above. It's easier to see. You have the center pedestal and two positions on the side. So pretty, pretty cool to see that little detail still here quite a hike to get to where we're going today but it's beautiful scenery hope you enjoy it as much as we do it's a pleasure and honor for us to be able to share the material that you see wow look what we actually saw an eagle holy i think we actually found the first little feature here probably not that easy to see but this spot had a lot of german activity And we do think there are some secrets deep in the ground, so we just have to find them. We see here, let me see if I can show you, right up here. Seems like there's a trench, so why don't we go up and check it out. Definitely very well spotted Eagle Eyes. He's like a World War II magnet. <laughs> trench coming in from here. Leading in from the lower parts here and uh, going up stacked rocks can't see any concrete yet and there is probably oh my goodness there is a cave are you freaking kidding me this is actually a cave and there is something else on the left hand side wow we have to go into that cave and figure out what that is all about yeah i can see that all right we'll go into the cave first This thing here, we just spotted something. It's a pure miracle. And I never, never, never thought we would find that here. Right here in the opening, there is something pretty unique. Another one, an authentic German World War II bunker oven. That means, or I think, there could be something really special inside there. Holy Madonna. Let's go down and have a look at that beautiful piece of history. Wow, that is such a surprise. This is very, very rare. Yeah, that's gonna be... Yeah, he wanna figure out how to do it. Let me see. Wait, wait, it's gonna be like that. Move your hand so they can see it. Take your hand away. This is what shuts the door. And there's actually a door here. That is absolutely incredible. Never thought that I would be able to see one of these just standing there. That is unreal. This is the bottom piece. Someone actually took the bother to drag this thing up from here. And now it is right there. So I, I have to say, I have to say, never ever seen anything like it and it's just standing there you have to consider that these are actually pieces that the museums wants so this piece i'm not sure what to do with it but uh, i think we're gonna make arrangements so that this one can come to a better use than just standing there holy moly that is pretty pretty special wow 
now we are ready to go into here and I haven't got a clue what's here I've got a new light here that I'm going to test out something that we're going to have on the ROV holy madonna what is going on here this is massive okay let me see I'm going to use the other flashlight as well wow look at all the brakes here they just crumpled down and wow it just continues in there wow wait i have to arrange some flashlights here all right let's venture into this fantastic little wow this took us totally off guard and i have to say that is amazing it's like a room inside here did they stay here sleep here what is it what happened here this is very very strange let me see uh, here is where we came and there are some old bottles there wow even more exciting okay okay that was quite a surprise totally took us by surprise so all the bricks here kind of made like inner walls they created this position here they didn't break down the the roof as they could have done i've seen that earlier and uh, i'm guessing that the uh, let's have a look here i think that probably the bunker oven was maybe it stood there i'm not sure maybe that's where the bunker oven stood but where's the ventilation wow this is just amazing oh there's an exit there okay that is absolutely wild <laughs> never ever seen anything like it okay what we're about to show you now is something that i really really can't explain eagle eyes he's just looked behind this wall and I really, really don't believe my eyes. We can see some cloth material down there and a ton of wine bottles with the correct time frame um, type of bottles, but that's not all. The most incredible thing is that some of them are actually filled with wine. One of them just actually um, cracked because my son dropped a brake on it and we can smell the odor of wine am I going crazy here what the heck is going on here All right, let's see if we can show you some details here there's one of the bottles clean it up a little bit and vag it see there's actually wine inside you can show the potting line here somewhere where it's separated there you see that that line there that shows you that it's an old bottle and then the top there can you wipe off the top yeah and you can see hold it like that you can actually smell the wine <laughs> oh my god can you see that that top is an old top and i really really don't understand how the heck is this a hidden wine cellar from the Germans that was here? This is just unreal. Let's see if we can find some bottle with the date on the bottom. Ah, it's incredible. Maybe the, 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 the tiles just came down and, and the bottles were hidden behind there. And now it's like for everyone to see. Wow. Very often when we come across bottles, especially the Germans one, they're marked in the bottom with the date actually. There's a, just a number three here. But I'll show you a picture of a beer bottle. So you can see they're actually dated on the bottom. So I'm not sure whether that is that, but hey, that is absolutely incredible. <laughs> well, I'm speechless. That's a huge piece of a telephone telegraph 
pole down there. What else could be in the side walls here? I'm absolutely amazed. Did we really find the stockpile from a German World War II bunker? I really think we did. I really, really think we did. And uh, there are no signs of modern activity whatsoever here. And uh, let me show you where we came in. You know, the bunker oven is uh, outside, wine storage inside, that wall there just came in and that was probably stacked there for a reason. Oh, I am so shocked by this. This is absolutely incredible for us and to share it with all of you, wow. What can I say? Just fantastic. That was we. What was that? Did you hear that? Is there someone outside? Well, look at that. There's actually a massive piece of iron right there. Holy cow. That is huge. What is that? Come on. Oh, crikey. That's jammed all the way down there. What the heck? That is incredible. Solid, look at that thing there. It's like a huge metal bar with some rivets. Is that the opening for the shutter? That could very well be that they planned on having a shutter here to open and close the hatch. I'll have to check that out a little bit better. As soon as Eli heard something to be dug, he's here. And there is definitely something here. There's definitely something here in the rubble. Can you see that? I think it's actually the panzer hatch opening device. Could be that. Yeah, there's something there as well. Wow. Okay. We'll work a little bit here and uh, see if that's actually the piece. I think it is. You see there? Is that the handle for the door? That thing there? Could be. Wow. Wow, indeed. That is actually the panzer hatch, the slides, so you can close off the, uh, I presume, the bunker. And uh, the metal pieces are here. You see the huge bolts and rivets. That is what I think is the sliding door. The frame is underneath here. It's too heavy. We thought it was just this little piece here, but it's something framework underneath here as well. But that is fantastic. Never ever seen one of these detached from, um, from the bunker kind of concrete construction itself. And to find that here, that is amazing. I think they probably blow it up and the rubble fell down. Maybe they blew it up after the war and the rubble came down. The bolt was kind of maybe, I don't know, protected behind that wall. The wall came down, they just left, I don't know. But that piece there is very, very rare. And I have actually never, ever seen it outside from the bunker wall itself. So very, very nice discovery. It's actually a cable from the bunker interior. Wow, so many things here. Interesting. So we now figure out roughly what this thing is all about. It is actually a mountain retreat. Heavy duty as well with the positions around here. You can see here, this is the other side where they come in. See this beautifully made trench. Then who would have guessed that there is something as incredible as what we saw down there, bunker oven, wine bottles, holy cow. And then it's down there. But there are also a couple of more features here, so let's show you that. I'm on the top of the ridge here, and a uh, lot of wind, a lot of wind. See that trench here? Totally in the continuation of uh, the, uh, the bunker, and it actually leads up to something really interesting. It leads up to this thing here. It's actually a machine gun tubrick on the top. I'm guessing they never kind of 
finished it, but it looks like there is uh, attachment there for what could probably be for a machine gun. I'm not sure. This looks very, very special. But that is such a surprise. Absolutely such a surprise. Wow, I don't know why we haven't seen this before, but that is wonderful. Wow, what a fantastic German Atlantic world position. That bunker with the two in, uh, entries and exits, the trenches and the MG position, it's just such a gem from the past. And with the bunker oven and the incredible wine bottles, some of them you can see here, they, they, these are the types that I found earlier on German World War II locations, spe specif specifically on the Atlantic wall. You can see it's the same as the bottles that we found in there. And they are actually still there. I really don't know what to do with them. They smell like wine. The one that we accidentally broke actually smells like wine. You can see the cork is in. I really don't know what to do about it. But listen, um, this area have a lot of surprises and we actually discovered something totally out of this world. So just have a little peek here. In the terrain here, we spotted this on a uh, image black and white image, you see that? There's something going on. And if you see around here, there's absolutely nothing. So what the heck is that thing there? Oh my goodness, this is insane. Yeah, that's coming up and you won't, you don't want to miss that, so check it out. As I said, please subscribe, share, comment, watch our videos in full. That's the best way you can support us. Please also check out the other videos we have. Let them run in your lunch time. Check out the ads. Do whatever it takes and hit the notification bell. That's very important. Also, a massive thank you to my Patreon supporters being out there. You are the backbones of what we do. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being so kind and uh, helping us out. And when it comes to that, you can either become a um, PayPal supporter you can check that out in the links in the description. I do beautiful World War II diorama giveaways every month, and you can take part in that in every month. If you want to pledge something every month and become part of the History Hunter team, you can check out on the patreon.com page there. And there are a lot of perks with for your eyes only videos, research video, you know, restoration projects, all of that good stuff is in there. Nevertheless, just want to say thank you for joining us. We will definitely see you out there in the next one. Stay safe, keep smiling, and goodbye.